Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss the Summit Lighthouse, when it was founded and by whom as well as its core mission and beliefs. The Summit Lighthouse was founded in Washington, D.C. in 1958 by the Ascended Master El Moria of Darjeeling, India, for the express purpose of publishing the teachings of the Ascended Masters dictated to the Messengers Mark and Elizabeth Prophet. A unique, non-denominational, religious and philosophical organization, the Summit Lighthouse has become a forum for the Ascended Masters and their students throughout the world. With international headquarters at the Royal Teton Ranch in Park County, Montana, and study groups and teaching centers in major cities around the world, the Ascended Masters and their students are disseminating the ancient wisdom to every nation. From its inception, the Summit Lighthouse has remained dedicated first to the development of the unlimited spiritual potential of man, and second, to the bringing forth of such progressive revelation as will assist the individual to unfold his character, his ideals, and his understanding of cosmic law. The Summit Lighthouse seeks the betterment of mankind and the resolving of all human problems through its program of assisting individuals and nations to realize their intrinsic worth and capability. Recognizing dogma and narrowness of belief as confining to the progress of the soul, the Ascended Master's teachings point to truth wherever it is found. In their approach to the religious quest, they outline the need for reason and order as well as consecration. The writings of the Great Masters published by the Summit Lighthouse point to the fact that nothing happens by chance, but everything happens according to natural and spiritual laws which may often appear as chance. The universe was set into motion by infinite law and infinite wisdom. Even its finite characteristics show the scientific accuracy behind the manifestation. The teachings of the Ascended Masters are available to all, no matter what their educational or religious background. They are intended for those who maintain an open mind, for those who realize that a college or a high school diploma by no means marks the completion of one's study of life. Life is ongoing by nature, noble by intent and spirited by vital purpose. Life is the great teacher of all men and none dare close the mind to its secrets. The illusions of the world are screens that blur reality and conceal its grand design even from the most learned. Man dare not, if he would be free to know the truth, allow himself to remain sheltered by concepts that defy review, that stand idly by while civilization crumbles. Civilized man need not tear down the systems of the past by violent revolution, for he is capable of assessing social problems and of evolving solutions without destroying those foundations which are needed to support change in every area of living. With faith in man's inherent ability to apply himself to the will of his Creator, we can seek a better understanding of ourselves and of our reason for being here on Earth. Men need to rely on the balance wheel that nature has placed within the psyche of man. Reliance on one's own sensitivity to truth and to reality will help the individual to clear the decks of mortal illusions and release the consciousness from stabbing confusion that numbs the brain and being of man. We are living in a time when the media are often controlled, education is sometimes biased, and prejudice is frequently incited. Each man seeks the good life, but seldom is he sure of just what good life really is. Evil forces are bent on the overthrow of all religion, right or wrong. They would like to drown its meaning in the tide of events and in the cross-currents of social unrest. Men are willing to forfeit freedom while they place their hopes in the group mystique whose collective deliberations have been pronounced superior to individual conscience. Midst the confusion of the age, the Summit Lighthouse rises as a spiritual tower to keep the flame of wonder, joy and faith forever alive in the hearts of men. Its authority is derived from the order of devotees comprised of the Ascended Masters and their unascended initiates known as the Great White Brotherhood. Having mastered time and space and ascended into the white light of the presence of God, the Ascended Masters have fostered the exploration of reality and the defining of individual self-mastery since the dawn of civilization. This spiritual order has been behind every constructive endeavor that has ever been brought forth upon the planet. 
Its members have founded churches, fraternities, governments, hospitals, schools, and every type of philanthropic organization. Working in the main behind the scenes, they have mercifully overlooked mankind's violence, selfishness, and greed, always striving to replace chaos with noble purpose and actively seeking to elevate the consciousness of mankind by re-establishing man's faith in his immortal destiny as a son of God. These selfless servants have sought no personal credit for their doings. They have aligned themselves with the presence of life in all men, as it was revealed by Jesus and others who have been sent to bring the light of truth to a darkened world. Since its founding in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has remained a pillar of fire by night, a cloud by day, to all who seek the truth of the inner self and the knowledge of cosmic law and its personal and planetary application. In the midst of the multifaceted activities of the Ascended Masters and the expansion of the organization under the capable direction of the messengers, the Summit Lighthouse has remained, in the words of Longfellow, steadfast, serene, immovable, the same. Year after year, through all the silent night, burns on forevermore that quenchless flame, shines on that inextinguishable light. To thousands of devotees of truth, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon through the night guiding the soul to the port of reality. Our standard is commitment to God's purpose and to the brotherhood of man under the fatherhood of God. Those whose loyalties are the same will find much in common with our service. All truth has its origin in universal law. Those who study with us learn how they can overcome deep-seated limitations that in some cases from birth onward have prevented their manifestation of the full and rich life they were intended to enjoy. Man is like a flower. His consciousness and body temple provide him with a platform for magnificent achievement. He is intended to blossom and to bear fruit. He is intended to pursue happiness while being harmless. He is intended to achieve, to overcome difficulties and limitations, and to rise to heights far above his present norm, that he might benefit his fellow men and set an example for the age. If you are among those who keep an open mind and who are eager to learn new and scientific truths, keys that will unlock your full potential and free you from a sense of drudgery and frustration, if you're looking for a more effective means to help your family and friends and at the same time discover your inner self, if you believe there is a purpose to life, then we invite you to take advantage of facts and findings that you may have never imagined could be true or possible. Since 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has published the weekly letters of the Ascended Masters to their students throughout the world. They have also published hundreds of books, audios and videos on these teachings in 30 languages. We welcome you to contact us for further information about the activities of students of the Ascended Masters in your area. And we look forward to meeting you at our online and in-person events. Thank you for watching.